Harari Viswanathan, VP of uh, Product Management at Steelwitch. Uh, today, I really want to talk to you about a topic that we are increasingly getting asked by both the IT and the business leaders alike. What's, the, what's really the big deal about big data? And one of the things that I wanted to mention is the concept of big data is not just uh, an IT buzzword. It's really a business concept that business leaders, like the VPs of supply chain, the VPs of operations, the, the VP of SNOP and IBP in companies really need to understand because it has an opportunity to dramatically change the value that they get from their SNOP process. So in order to really understand the concept behind big data, let's ask a few questions and review the answers to those questions. And these questions are what we get from business leaders like yourself. So the first question that we get is, what is big data? And in order to answer that, we really need to go to the concept of the three V's, which is volume, variability, and velocity. So the concept of volume is really due to the fact that companies are increasingly getting to do business and commerce across a large number of products, a large number of customers, and if you take a look at retailers, they're having to deal with point of sale data, which is really in petabytes rather than megabytes and gigabytes. So there's a large explosion of data across the board at various levels of the demand supply network. Then there's also the concept of the variability of data, because you're seeing wide fluctuations in the amount of information that you get based on seasonality, based on geographies, based on factors such as risk, and disruptions that happen within your demand supply network. So the variability of data is also another factor. Then you have the velocity of information. We are seeing new things added all the, all the time to your supply chains. You are seeing new products, you are getting new items, new customers, new suppliers. So the velocity of information is also very high. So all of these are really contributing to the explosion of information which is essentially what is meant by big data. So the question you may ask is, what does it have to do with SNOP? See, in the case of SNOP process, what we are really trying to do is to balance the demand that companies are getting across the various business units, across the various geographies, with the supply that they are able to provide based on the various sources of supply, including manufacturing plants, distribution centers, etc., in the most profitable manner. So what we are really trying to do is to do a balancing between the demand, supply, and finance. And as we talked about previously, due to the explosion in the volume, variability, and velocity, you are seeing that there is a very high relevance of big data in the SNOP process. So it's very essential that when you look at improving your SNOP process, or you want to go to the level four of your SNOP process, which is integrated business planning, you will have to deal with uh, you know, the big data issue. So the question is, which industry sectors are facing this more? I would say that the more of the large companies at various sectors which are dealing with the consumers, like retail, uh, CPG, consumer electronics, are facing this problem more at this point of time. But this is definitely an issue that we are seeing at more uh, other sectors, like process industry, process chemical, uh, industrial equipment as well. So the, the next question that we have to talk about is, let's say that you have big data in SNOP. What can you do better with it? And in order to really understand the answer to this question, we again have to go back to the fundamentals of SNOP and IBP. Integrated business planning is about balancing supply, demand, and finance. So if you do that in an effective manner, it's really like looking at a very high resolution photograph. Companies today, they are only getting bits and pieces of information. So it's similar to looking at very low resolution photographs of their supply process, demand process, and the financial process. If you're able to have a much higher resolution focus, that means that you are able to do more of an integrated business planning or a balanced trade-off across demand, supply, and finance. So what's the advantage of that? You are able to collaborate more with your trading partners, and you're able to get better visibility into your process not only in terms of your geographies, but also across various business units, uh, business divisions across 
multiple sectors in your product line and things like that. So it has very high value opportunity. So what's the relevance of SNOP technology and how does SNOP technology leverage big data? Again, fundamentally we have to look at the fact that integrated process planning or SNOP is about looking at demand, supply and finance in a simultaneous fashion. And once you do it, you have to deal with the fact that there is going to be very large data sets which are there. And because of those large data sets, you need to get very fast insights into how your business is functioning and to be able to take faster decisions because it's all about agility. It's all about combining or converting your fragile supply chains into agile supply chains. And once you're able to do it, you, are, you should also be able to look at how can you get insights into your data through analytics. Analytics is commonly referred to as business intelligence. But today, business intelligence is really more of a separate process rather than integrated with the planning process. So what we are really talking about in terms of SNOP technology and big data is looking at planning and business intelligence in the same environment. And then when you talk about the fact that you have large amounts of data and you have executives who are dealing with having to take decisions in matter of days and matter of minutes, then the concept of mobility is very important. So showcasing or analyzing information and providing it at the point of consumption through mobile platforms, tablets, and smartphones is again very critical. So the three components of SNOP technology relevant to big data is very fast performance through handling of large data sets, analytics, and mobility. So if you'd like to know more about big data, please check out the resource section on www.steelwitch.com and we will also be having more webinars and specialized discussions on this very important topic in the future. Thank you so much.